everyone. Thanks for joining me. This is your tarot reading for Wednesday, the 11th of May. Let's have a look at what the tarot wants to show you today. Okay, interesting. So today is a day that's all about thoughts and ideas. And I really get the sense that you're going to be inspired in some way. What the day is not about is fire, passion, life purpose. So that's really interesting because the first card we've got here is the Ace of Wands. When the Ace of Wands is this way around, it represents a blessing from the universe. It represents clarity, growth, knowing what your life path is, feeling creative and being able to put action into that side of things. It's in reverse. So what I feel is that on this day, you're not going to feel particularly creative. You're not going to feel like you can express yourself and create and and grow all of these great new things. Instead, what you're doing is you're brainstorming and you're thinking about the things that you will create in future. Okay, the card that's in the middle here is the Seven of Cups. And as you can see in this card, the Seven of Cups is an unseen kind of shadowy figure there looking into the sky and really dreaming about every possibility there is. Dreaming of wisdom, dreaming of social acclaim, dreaming of power, of wealth, of security. And being unable to decide, okay? So this card is in reverse. So your thoughts and ideas are really going to inspire one of these areas and is going to help you focus on one thing at a time and really iron out the details, hash out this information that you need to really create something. So ultimately, this reading could be summarized by one card, which is the Fool. The Fool is zero in the Major Arcana, okay? It's before anything happens. One is the magician when something is created, but before that is zero. It's conceiving ideas, conceiving notions. And that's really what this is about. You're not taking action. You're not painting the picture. You're not designing the jewelry. You're not singing the song. What you're doing is you're being inspired. You're being given a gift from God, a gift from the universe, which is an idea, which is an inspiration. You can see this sword there. It's not just any old sword. It's a sword with a crown at the top. So this is the king of ideas. That's what's coming in to this vast wasteland of your mind at the moment, which is like a clean slate. This new idea is, or you're ready to receive this new idea. Okay, so that comes in, it really narrows your focus and it gives you an area that becomes very clear and it's like, this is what I can really start to flesh out now. So, back with this creative side of things, maybe you start to get an idea of what the picture should look like, what you're actually going to paint. You know, um, Picasso's Guernica, he had to have an idea to paint that first. Or if it's the jewelry design, you will see the new necklace in your mind's eye and you'll start to get clear on how you can do that. I'm going to need a couple of diamonds. I'm going to need white gold. I'm going to need this and this and this. And by putting all of those things together, then I can create the necklace. So this is a wonderful time of really getting clear about what you're going to be doing in future. And it's about lots of internal activity going on in your head, okay? Sometimes, you know, our ideas can be all over the place and can really derail us and not get anywhere. Today is a day of quiet where your ideas really are meaningful and you need to listen to them. I'm going to, what I'm going to do on this day, is I'm going to take a half an hour out or an hour out. I'm going to go sit in a garden somewhere. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to listen to my ideas and I'm going to see what comes through. And I will get specific, clear messages about one thing in particular, which in itself will become apparent in my mind. That then will help me. And then the next day and the day after that, I can actually put the action in to create those things. One and seven is eight and one is nine. And nine is about spirituality and numerology. And it's about the end of a cycle. It's about completion. So the thing that's going to complete you, the thing that's going to uh, really support you on this day is the idea that will come in that ultimately will help you to put something real into practice 
and that's connected to your life purpose. Okay, so this is an idea about something that you're meant to be doing, something that's aligned with you spiritually. So listen to spirit, listen to God, connect with the higher power in whichever way you do that, and you will get a gold golden treasure of ideas in your mind today and that will really serve you for the future. Have a wonderful, inspirational, fantastic day. If you'd like a private reading with me about your life purpose or your career or your relationships, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and order your reading there. Remember to subscribe to the channel so that these videos show up and I will speak to you tomorrow.